What's up, guys? It's Lefty here, and we're talking NBA Finals Game 4. I got a couple bets I like, and I'll explain why I like them. If you just want the picks, fast forward to the end because I'll recap the bets I have locked in as of now. Before we get into Game 4, let's take a look back at Game 3. I gave out four bets in the Game 3 video. I split 2-2. Two and two. That first half, Mavs minus 1.5 was a tough one. Losing by the hook on a missed free throw. That's how it goes sometimes. Overall, Game 3 was pretty good, though. Cleaned up in player props. Besides the two I gave out here in the Game 3 video, uh, I ended up adding four more props on the day of the game, including Kyrie 30-plus points at plus 300 odds. I gave that one out as a free member play, too. Uh, so that was nice to get that one. Now, if you want access to all the bets I make when I make them, I post them in the Betting Network Discord. So far, having a really good baseball season, up almost 25 units after yesterday. Uh, the Discord invite link is in the description below this video. Okay, let's check out what the market's doing here for Game 4. As of this recording, it's late Thursday night. We have what's called a split line. Boston's minus one at most books. DraftKings is hanging Dallas minus one. Some offshore books have it at a pick 'em. Now, no surprise if we look at the betting percentage splits, we can see Boston is getting lopsided bets and money. It's crazy how the perception um, has flipped in this series. Dallas was getting all the betting love before the series, and then in game one, and now everyone seems to have jumped ship to Boston and hoping they sweep. Odds makers don't necessarily think the Celtics are going to sweep with the, this game four line priced at what's basically a pick the winner game. Now, regardless of who you bet, do not bet Boston minus one if the money line is minus 110. Both bets are 110, but if Boston was to win by one point exactly, you'd push. Or, you know, don't bet Dallas on the money line minus 110 if you can get plus one at minus 110. Now, it's very likely the one point won't come into play, but why take the chance when it's the same price, but you can get the one point for the same cost? You know, sportsbooks offer this hoping bettors don't pay attention to the details. Remember, the sportsbooks do not have your best interest in mind. Get into the habit of questioning everything they offer. Now, for game four, um, there's not a whole lot to break down here as far as the on-court matchups go or scheme or game plan. We've seen everything we're going to see. Uh, this really comes down to motivation, really. Uh, does Boston go for the kill shot on the road here, or do we see them take their foot off the gas, um, something they've done in the past? Does Dallas even have fight left in them? Has Boston broken their spirit, or... Will the Mavs refuse to get swept and go out ugly in front of their home crowd? Uh, motivation is one of the most important factors in sports betting with any sport. Of course, in the NBA Finals, it's not really a question, but you'd be foolish to assume these rich athletes are giving their all every game. Uh, motivation also happens to be something that's almost impossible to quantify or put like a value on, or even really just predict in general. I've always said if someone could figure out a way to accurately predict turnovers uh, or which team is the more motivated team, they'd be rich. Uh, because I'm not sure how each team will respond in game four, I'm staying away from the side in this one. But I do like the under and bet the under full game to 11 and a half. It's the lowest total of the series, but I don't think it's low enough, actually. Uh, the series average score is barely over 200 points. Uh, the only quarter that's played with any kind of pace is the first quarter, and then we see it die off drastically in the second quarter, and especially in the fourth quarter where things tighten up and the pace slows way down. They haven't even combined for close to 50 points in the fourth quarter yet this series. Um, I bet the over first half 109 last game. They scored 61 first quarter points, and it still didn't even come close to getting to over 109. Now, as of this recording, I only have one other bet, but on game day Friday, I'll very likely add some more player props. I'll post them in the Discord. 
Uh, I bet PJ Washington over 13 and a half points. And the reason behind this one is something I noticed while watching the coaches post game pressers. Uh, I watch about four hours a day of player and coaching inter- coaches interviews or post game press conferences for all sports find a lot of helpful info uh, to use for betting. And one thing I picked up on is Dallas head coach Jason Kidd talking about needing help outside of Kyrie and Luka. Uh, But finding a Dallas role player is tough because minutes are so inconsistent with guys like Derek Jones, Lively, and Gafford. But PJ is averaging 38 minutes over his last 10 games. Um, And also, like, listening to Missoula talk, I think Boston – defensively focuses a little bit more on Kyrie and Luka um, and could lead to more open looks for PJ, who his home road splits are heavily skewed in favor at home for both shooting volume and scoring. Uh, So as of this recording, late Thursday night, I have just the two bets, but there's still a full day before the game tips off on Friday night. Anything I add, I'll post in the Discord But I am being very selective. Never want to force any bets just because it's a big game. Um, If anything, it's the opposite because odds are so much sharper in these type of games. But I'm going under the full game total, 211.5, and and I got P.J. Washington over 13.5 points. And that's all I got for now. If you watch till the end, thank you very much. I sincerely appreciate it. If you could give this video a thumbs up, that'd be even better. But until next time. Good luck with your bets. And as always, may all the refs calls and all the loose balls go your way.